Hi, I'm Gavin. Um, so and my channel sort of bounces around between film and post-production and cameras. Um, I should do some film, more film videos for people um, with my cameras and, and stuff like that. Some some stock reviews. I haven't done those for a while. Anyway, so what I thought I'd talk about, I mean, this is just pertinent to me because I've just sort of been through the hoops of this, but it's been going on for years. And it's one of those things that you sort of need to talk about is is proxy work po proxies whether you shoot large um, or you shoot any footage really now what's a proxy so we've all got these amazing cameras reds aries not so many aries um uh cannons and b raw and all these kind of things we all shoot ca you know cameras with raw now and they, 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 these are huge files so when you get them back and you've got your laptop or your whatever you're doing it you work on as a content creator or as an edit team you've got these massive amounts of, of, of files, these gigantic raw files. Now, you sort of want these because they're really high quality. And later on down the line, you know, it's paid dividends that you've shot with that kind of a codec. But there is a massive problem. I mean, we did a shoot the other day and I've got uh, just under a terabyte of material. And from that terabyte, we have to, we have to pull out um, a full 30 seconds of uh, footage for the final delivery. So you can sort of see, we've got this gigantic pile of stuff. So what do you do with it? You can't, you can, I mean, obviously hard drives are quite large. You can do this. You can, you've got SSDs that are quicker, but obviously it, 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 chucking uh, raw files through most computers sort of makes them struggle if you want to edit directly with them. And this is, works at any level. So what the process is, is you take those raws and you create an identical version of them at, at a smaller size in a less strenuous sort of codec. So, you know, you take a, a raw file, Canon RAW, for example, and you make it into a ProRes proxy, which is lightweight, can easily be handled by Max, and then you can edit seamlessly. Because, I mean, one of the big problems that people don't quite understand is if you, like, line up in a timeline, um, you know, a piece, one piece of footage of Red RAW, um, and then you play it back, that probably play fine. But the problem comes is when you're going between two separate pieces, and you have to play both streams at once. So those transitions are problematic because you're actually playing two streams at the same time as it's transitioning to the other one. And that can make it stutter. And then you put effects on top. So now the computer's trying to debay the material and then apply effects and all this. And you, what you really want to do is cut down all your material and do that strenuous part right at the end with only the material you need to do it with. So to help us and help editors and make it easier to distribute the material for editors to work remotely, um, we use proxy workflow. So what I'll do is I'm going to cover the pitfalls of um, uh, of each sort of package um, and the way to do it in each one that, that may work you. There are a few gotchas with it all. And it normally comes from a colour background, um, ending up being given an edit timeline to relink proxies to bring it into Resolve um, and then sort of right around. You sort of understand that there's just so many things that can go wrong when an editor gets older. They're not really bothered about the technical aspects of it too much. It's just when it goes to the finish, then you have to really sort of work out what's going on. So proxies are great, as long as you have a good workflow in place. And um, and that's how you, you know, and that's in you go from there. So yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll look at also how you do, how the quickest way to do it. I mean, I'm working on an M3 Mac, um, so, you know, your mileage may vary on what you get with your other machines. But yeah, so let's let's sort of have a look at proxies.